Happy New Year guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great time ushering into the new year with lots of joy, family and friends and I hope it was everything special and today's video is going to be about self-confidence and self-esteem as the title suggests. This has been a very highly requested video for some time now and I thought no time like the present. Confidence is something that you have to work on, you have to work at for a long time. To gain self-confidence, one has to love themselves. Rule number one would be self-love. I cannot stress enough, guys, about self-love because only if you love yourself so deeply, unconditionally, and accept who you are, will others be able to love you. You have to love yourself first. Selfish as it may sound, it is one of the most important things to begin with, self-confidence and self-esteem. This comes from a deep level of self-love, self-acceptance and not beating yourself up. It doesn't matter what age you are, what age group, if you're a teenager, if you're a child, if you're a mom like me or you're a man out there, self-love is the first step to maintaining and building your self-esteem and your self-confidence. As I was saying guys, it is something you must work on daily and the first step is really to just accept yourself as you are. Fall in love with yourself completely and I mean completely deeply that you no longer also need another person's love to make you feel good. And I know it is easily said than done but it is the truth. If you are secure enough in your own skin, in your own abilities, will you be able to move forward? Number two, I feel like you must, you must evaluate who you are around. Majority of the people who have self-esteem issues, insecurities, self-confidence issues are not surrounded by great people. Uh, good saying about this, you are who you hang around. It's as simple as that. Do you have friends who uplift you, who cheer you, who encourage you? Do you have friends that are happy for your happiness? Do you have friends who make silly jokes and let you be and let you love? Do you have friends who encourage you at every given step in your life? Do you have friends who are there for you in your sorrow? Do you have friends that you can talk to openly about your insecurities? Or do you have friends that don't lift you up? Or do you have friends that love to talk negatively about other people? Or do you have friends that don't clap when you are succeeding? Or do you have friends that are not happy for you? those friends that do not wish you well? Do you have those friends who silently are your enemies? Do you have frenemies? You must, I insist, you must evaluate who you surround yourself with. You must evaluate who is around you, be that family or friends. That plays a big role, a huge role in how you are feeling. If you have friends who uplift you, who clap for you, for your achievements, then those are the friends to keep. You need friends to encourage you, to push you, to see good in you even when you cannot see it yourself. Those are the kind of friends you need to keep around you. In all honesty, you need to declutter if you are feeling low, if you are feeling you don't have any self-confidence and self-esteem. You need to really look around you and start trimming where you have to and replace those with great people. People who will lift you up. People who want to see you succeed. People who believe your success is theirs. People who will not be envious of your success. People who will not silently sit and watch and say nothing when you do something good. Those are not your friends. Three, say no to your inner critic. Why do I say this? Because I feel we all have that one little person inside of us, the bad woman inside of us who comes with a destructive whisper now and again and puts us down. Why do you want to put yourself down? We do it. I have done it in the past. You may be doing it. So many people need help with this children, teenagers, I don't know if you're in high school, if you're in university, if you're a mom, all of us regardless of the age, we always beat ourselves up about something or the other thing, about our fears, about starting a YouTube channel for example and getting hate on here. We always beat ourselves up. Why? Time to start giving yourself positive affirmations. I am amazing. I am great. I fear this but I'm going to break my fear. I am going to do it. 
and these affirmations will only make you stronger give you more confidence it's almost like the law of attraction what you attract to you you will become if you will attract negativity fear that you cannot do a certain thing then really you won't but if you go to sleep every day say to yourself you are amazing and drill that in your head pump it in your bloodstream pump it in your soul that you are amazing and you are capable of everything you ever want to do there is no perfect out there perfect does not exist we beat ourselves up young girls i've seen teenagers because they believe in perfection the myth of perfection will only hurt you and your loved ones and the people who love you perfection does not exist stop beating yourself up about a certain area of your body that you feel is not great we all have marks i have cellulite i have stretch marks raised all my scars and i love them because they are part of me for example i have four c-section scars one over the other i will never look the same my scars will always be there but believe you me when i tell you your scars give you personality your scars give you character can you imagine a world where we all look the same the same shape the same size the same scars what character would we have none embrace whatever it is that you don't like about yourself the moment you start accepting it loving it you will see your confidence about those very things rise own it it's time where you have to begin owning everything that you are also think that for you to build and maintain your self-confidence you need to do a lot of reading you need to help yourself by uh, getting great books out there there's so many great books out there on self-confidence self-help self-esteem and you will see that your thoughts will change rewire your thoughts and focus on you and i know there are times when we are on that road to gaining self-confidence and self-esteem and then we all of a sudden see something bad or feel something bad and we go tumbling down down again really that's okay it's totally okay to keep falling down while on this journey to gain self-confidence and self-esteem but is get up again and try again stop beating yourself up for things that you should really be happy for as bad as it may be as ugly as you may think that you look somebody else may be seeing the beauty in that so accept yourself uh, we are all God's children and he made us different we are not the same and that's what makes us unique uh, lastly I think you should reward yourself take a two-minute appreciation break you must appreciate every good thing that you have done keeping a few healthy motivational habits will help you in the long run I'd like to add that self-confidence and self-esteem are not external things yes external things may help for example I am 5'2 in height when I wear a pair of shoes I feel great I feel confident so good in them that actually I make myself happy if something out there you think externally may help you whether it may be a new foundation a new lipstick a pair of shoe then go and get it nothing wrong to use external things to make you feel good however I insist that self-confidence and self-esteem are things that come from within these are internal things it takes time to learn it it takes time to master the skill and uh, gain self-confidence but it is achievable you can love yourself you can be confident you are capable of being secure within yourself and be so secure that you will not need anybody's validation or anybody's acceptance of you because you love yourself enough love yourself enough that it'll never matter to you whether other people do or they don't it might seem a little different but give the compliments you want to hear you know many times we want to hear with oh sono you look great or oh, sono that shoe is amazing your skin is glowing but you also need to give out those compliments it's really weird but it works like that it's a two-way street give out some love and receive some love in the whole process you will become a whole being of love and really what are we we're all just love that's all we are and that's all we should be thank you very much guys for watching i hope this video helps you and everybody around you whether they be your daughters your children or just anyone out there thank you so much don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and leave me your comments down below i love 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 to read them thank all you so much until next time love and light